Welcome to Goofing Off Road. My name's Tony. I'm out in the Mammoth trailer today. The Mammoth trailer comes with a trailer jack, but the mount for the jack is really soft metal. So after a couple of uses, it's already deformed and it makes it really difficult to get the jack on and off the trailer. Because the metal is soft and the holes deform, then the trailer jack moves around quite a bit on the trailer tongue. So today, I'm gonna to work with my buddy Scott to cut the old one off and put a more robust one on to replace it. While we're at it, we're gonna take the foot off of the jack and replace it with a wheel to make it easier to move the trailer around. This video is gonna be a little bit different from the videos I normally do. I didn't do any of the work. Scott did the work and I just filmed him as he went along. So I'm gonna talk you through the steps that he took to replace the swivel mount. So that way, if you need to do it yourself or you need someone else to do it for you, you have an idea of what has to happen. The new swivel mount from Kurt's a lot sturdier. I'll leave a link for it in the description below. I also got a swivel wheel and a trailer jack foot that have a pin attachment that we can put on the bottom of the trailer jack stand once the jack foot is cut off. The first thing to do is to get rid of the old swivel mount. So it was cut off with a cutoff wheel and then finished off with a hammer. There was a little bit of the old swivel mount left over which was easily taken care of with a grinder. And then the surface was cleaned up ready to accept the new swivel mount. The new swivel mount was prepped with a grinder so that there was room for the welding seam. You can see that the material on the new swivel mount is much thicker than the old one. First of all it was tacked into place and then the welding was finished off. Take a look at that gorgeous welding. To prevent the new swivel mount from rusting, it was painted with a layer of primer, and then it was painted gloss black to match the drawbar. Next, jack foot was removed. It was cut off with a plasma torch, and then the end was cleaned up with a grinder. The end of the tube was left on so that it would be stronger. With the jack foot removed, it was time to drill some holes to accept the pin for the new swivel mount and the new jack foot. A long center punch was used to mark the spot to drill the second hole. Now we were able to put the swivel wheel on and we test fit it on the drawbar. With the wheel on the bottom, the trailer jack was way too high and it meant that we wouldn't be able to lower the trailer down onto the vehicle hitch. So to remedy that, we would have to remove the bracket off of the trailer jack tube and lower it down a bit. The jack mount was cut off of the tube with a cutoff wheel. Then the surface of the tube was cleaned up. Then the surface was prepped in a new spot to relocate the jack mount. The swivel mount was welded onto the tube in the new spot and then it got a good coat of primer and was painted black. Now that the swivel mount is lower on the trailer jack tube, we can put it on the trailer. It makes room for the wheel and now we can lower the drawbar to the right height. One of the cool things about upgrading the trailer jack and putting a wheel on the bottom is now I can scoot the mammoth around in the garage, like this. Isn't that easy? It was definitely worth it to upgrade the swivel mount. The new one is sturdier and holds the trailer jack in place much better. I hope this video was useful. Please like and subscribe for more cool videos.